Tonight, the city of Tulsa is investigating after a 71-year-old woman was mauled and killed by four dogs. That attack happened last Tuesday in a neighborhood near East Pine and North Harvard. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith spoke with neighbors about what happened and about the woman who lost her life. One of Glenna Roy Blackwelder's neighbors told me Glenna grew up in that area and has lived in her home for 71 years. Diane Weiss says Glenna had a heart of gold and will be missed by everyone in the neighborhood. She was just a kind soul. Everybody liked Glenna. Diane Wise has lived in her home since the 80s, so she's known her neighbor, Glenna Roy Blackwelder, for decades. Wise says the neighborhood is tight knit. She was different. She's a crazy cat lady, and I loved her for it because she rescued, you know, and she took care of. And now it's my job to find homes for her cats. And of course, she took the ones nobody else wanted. Last Tuesday, Wise says Blackwelder was looking for one of her cats when she was attacked by four dogs. She says Blackwelder was walking between her friend's house and another neighbor's with just a short chain linked fence separating Glenna between the dogs. When Glenna was out looking for her cat, um, she walked too close to the fence. Wise says the dogs got a hold of Blackwelder's arm and attacked her through the fence, killing her. Everybody came and got me because they knew we were friends. Mm -hmm. And I had her brother's number, you know, in my phone. And her brother's very upset, to say the least. Other neighbors we spoke to also say Blackwelder had the kindest heart. The guy that she was, that she died in his yard was just heartbroken. He said, she's such a good neighbor, you know. He says, she watched my house, I watched hers. He had only lived there about five years, but he, you know, he was very attached to her. Now I reached out to the city of Tulsa and a spokesperson tells me the attack is still under investigation. The city says the four dogs involved in the attack were signed over to Tulsa and Animal Welfare and were euthanized. Their rabies tests came back negative. In studio, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.